Okay, phase one, um, basically we're, we're tanking there. Uh, when you DPS, you come in nice and close to the flank of the dragon or side, just come in straight ahead there. Uh, he will or she will pull you into the dragon. As soon as that happens, you have to strafe out or, or sprint out as quickly as you can. Uh, if you're in range of the dragon still, you'll cop an AoE effect and possibly die. So the further you are away, the less damage you take. When you um, when she goes into flight phase, you'll get a blue arrow ahead above the head of two of the people. What you want to do is those two people come and stand on either side of this line here. So if I was one, the second one would be over here. Don't go near them because you will get frozen. Okay, so it's pretty simple. When that happens, everyone runs up, kills those um, kills those uh, tombs, and then stands behind them. The people that are tombed don't move until it says that she's about to land, and then you can move. Uh, in phase two, same thing again, isn't it, Pez? Yep. And in phase three, this is where it gets a bit tricky. She doesn't do flight anymore. She'll um, basically be casting random tombs on above people's heads. So you have to watch for a blue arrow. Uh, what's going to happen is we all start in this position here. So uh, the ranged will continue DPSing. The melee will stop DPSing and just concentrate on tombs. If you are entombed, you start here when you're with the group. And the second position is where you see Peza. So the star over there. So basically, if you're in the group here and you get the blue arrow, you sprint over to the other side here. It's about here, isn't it, Pez? And um, you uh, basically yeah, stand here. The whole raid moves over directly behind you once you're in tombs, kills the tomb. Now, if, you, if you're in the tomb, don't move. Stay behind it because the melee, DPS, the melee DPS will be killing the tomb and staying there to drop their buffs. The ranged DPS will continue DPSing the dragon the whole fight. So, And the only people that will move will be the tanks in and out of here. And that's pretty much it. So, um, again, the group's here. If you get a blue arrow, you strafe over to this position over here, and you stop, and then everyone pulls up behind that tomb. So that means that uh, you're not near the raid. If you're near the raid, you will wipe us. So if we just drop a um, cooking thing down, can we have someone drop a fire here, and a fire over here, please? Can't if you're in combat. Okay, we won't worry about that. But that's the yeah, that's the strategy. So, I'll call her the debuffs too. Uh, yeah, well the debuffs are pretty much. Uh, you've got to watch that you don't get too many stacks of the debuff, otherwise you'll kill yourself. It actually does damage to you. So try and stay below what is it, five stacks, six stacks. I can't do that. Yet. Anyway, so that's for the melee, uh, four, five. for melee, four. For melee, 4 5, for casters, 7 8. Okay. 4 5 for melee, 7 8 for casters. So we'll uh, give it a shot in a sec.